In this second part of the Cardboard Gazelle series, we are formally beginning the construction process. With our shoe body all cut out and bent into the shape, we are going to fit it together, assemble the toe, and glue it to the insole. Now we need to do some shaping. I call it conditioning. Do not let cardboard scare you. It's time to bend and break it. With your shoe body cut out, now bend it around your heel and shape it to your foot. You can also condition and rub your cardboard shoe body on the edge of a table to soften it up so it shapes easier. Bend all the glue tabs in toward the inside of the shoe. At this point, we're making our first toe assembly. First, turn the shoe body inside out. Apply glue to the outside of the shoe body's toe tabs. When the glue is tacky and ready, press the toe tabs together in place. Now, if you have a stapler, use it to staple the toe tabs. Do the same glue tab and stapling operation for the tabs at the heel of the shoe body. This will make a nice rounded shape at the heel. Apply glue to the inside of all the glue tabs on the shoe body. Then apply glue to the bottom of the insole where I've marked on my template. When the glue is tacky and ready, when the insole is in position, Press the glue tabs onto the insole from below. One way to do this is to set the shoe flat on the table. Put your hand in there and press the tabs flat from the inside. Now we'll glue our shoe body assembly to the sole. Lather the bottom of the insole with a lot more glue. Do the same for the top of your sole cake. When the glue is tacky and ready, press the shoe body assembly on top of the sole. Be sure they're aligned and the edges are flush. If you're going to paint your shoe, now's the time to do it. You don't have to paint it, it's up to you. I want you to make it yours. You can paint or color or collage your shoe however you want. I hope you do. But if you want to paint it standard black and white like the one I'm doing for this demo, you'd want to paint the shoe body now. Let it dry, then move on to the trim work and other work that we have to do. Now that you've assembled your shoe body to your sole, you've amassed a pretty good volume here. In the next part, we will work on the toe and trim pieces.